Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase. Got the latest pop culture here. We're going to cut it open. Mattel sent this case over to me. I know there's a wagon mix that just is hitting in Malaysia. Ministry of Diecast showed the wagon mix. It looks fantastic. Can't wait to get my hands on that. But this is the mix with the trucks. We've seen hobby dealers get this. I think it's starting to hit in uh, maybe some stores right now. I'm not totally sure. I haven't seen it, but uh, I wanted to get this mix. It does look like pop culture is kind of going in the collector direction. In fact, entertainment is going to be no more at the end of 2023. We already talked about the last mix. In fact, I brought the last mix, not the whole mix, but the two models that I was most interested in, and I figured I needed a place to open them. Why not in this video? I've got the uh, Forza model and the Jaws model. The Jaws is very much like kind of old school entertainment when it was actually introduced as retro entertainment. It was like movies and TV shows, Magnum PI, James Bond, all that kind of stuff. And this Jaws model would have fit perfectly in that old mix. And then it kind of turned into, you know, some cartoons and video games. And while I'm not complaining about this Audi RS2 being done, it's just not in the same vibe as like retro entertainment so they're killing this line they're going to mix it into pop culture my assumption is if they want to do something that's entertainment related like this we might see it kind of move into here pop culture is like cars with different logos on it with different themes and i think maybe they'll kind of expand it a little bit to have like not just themed cars like with like art on them but like cars that fit in the theme like this jaws model does that make sense hopefully it does anyway i wanted to open these up so let's go ahead and do it um, and then we'll move to the uh, to the pop culture mix. Audi Avant RS2. This was one of my favorite models from a couple years ago. It was a super treasure hunt last year. Rio Asada design. And this is the first time it's gone premium. Really excited to see it this way. Obviously, the Audi RS2 never sold in the United States. Kind of taken on a legend of its own. And this one, while I don't think is a real livery, it's obviously a tribute uh, to the Audi Quattro race car that we've actually seen released in basic this year. It has the same color combination, the same type of striping. So I really, really dig this one. Now, my assumption is now that we've seen it go premium, get the metal base, we might see this go into car culture. And even if we did one that's just like plain blue, just like the debut basic, and I, why would we not see more premium versions of that RS2? So that was, I wanted to open up, it's open in the collection for sure, one that I really, really like. As a matter of fact, it's going to go, sorry for the glare, but those two spots right there. And then uh, I'm actually going to have to put some of these in that display. I'm going to have to shift some cars as well. Um, now let's talk about this one. New casting. So this one will go into the Lamley Awards premium uh, tournament, or not tournament, but the best and most disappointing new castings. We've seen most of them come out of car culture, but occasionally pop culture and entertainment will debut couple new ones every year and this is obviously one of them 75 chevy blazer custom now what i like about this obviously is it has the jaws connection very very cool artwork i was happy that this case came with two because i wanted one carded but the model itself is just fantastic as well I, i'm imagining you know, when you look at it that this and i think i talked about this when i did the preview for this one that it does appear that that um little kind of siren piece is removable meaning they could replace it with just a normal roll cage. So you could see this turn into some sort of like beach type model in the future, which, which would be kind of cool or just anything, I, you know, it works as a police model for jaws. It may not work as a police model for say stranger things or something like that. But anyway, that one looks cool too. All right, let's talk about these others. 12 in this case, I always think that's interesting. They do 10 in car culture. One of them could be a chase, but in this case, they always, with pop culture that have always done 12, I don't know if that's going to continue into 2024. Um, I have not featured pop culture a lot in the past because a lot of the castings don't interest me that much. And I try and keep the Lamley features kind of within stuff that I'm interested in or curious about at least. And uh, I don't have a ton of pop culture in my collection but i think these are all going to go in so let's just so there's two of each obviously there's six cars in this set one two three four five six yep right now oh, look at that well maybe no yeah no there's five but they put some multiples in here so let's just pull these out and then we'll uh we'll open up a couple so here we go already getting started with some cool stuff so let's just Start with this one. It's not trucks, right? It's like oil or fuel or I don't know what the thing does it even say. I don't. I don't 
don't think so. Like sometimes they say, sometimes they don't, and then people will mention them and maybe it's just in like when hobby dealers get it because there's obviously an internal name name for these this is a combat medic i combat medic i'm sorry for the glare that i keep doing this for but um it's too hot to film outside kendall motor company these are all obviously they're un. this is an unlicensed model the rest are licensed i think and um but obviously the theme is licensed kendall Mo motor oil and this one's cool like simple decos on these I, you know, I don't have to go over the whole history of pop culture. It's going to be very interesting to see how it goes next year. But, you know, there'd be like Saturday evening post, you know, Norman Walk Rockwell themes that I wasn't really, wasn't really into. Grateful Dead was cool. Led Zeppelin was cool. It really just depended. I wasn't really into like the Marvel and DC themed mixes. But uh, these make sense. You could see this truck, the combat, combat, com, that's impossible, combat medic driving down the street with something like this is some sort of like utility truck, right? All right. This one's so awesome. Modal, Datsun 620. So nice to see this, a premium version of this casting back. Lace, real riders, modal deco, simple, simple deco, Datsun on the windshield, modal on the hood, Modal and Dotson, the embossed Dotson, but the rest of the deco. This is just, see, this one you could actually see, first off, the artwork is fantastic, but you could also see this just as a car culture release, right? That's where I start getting excited about this. Again, some sort of shop truck. Dotson 620 works perfectly as a shop truck, and uh, and that one I think is cool too. Now, they know that the Dotson will probably be popular because there's two more, right? So three Dotsons, one combat, com combat medic why can't i say that no there's actually three combat medics is there three well okay so now that's weird because you would assume that they would say all right the dotson's going to be popular but wouldn't this be popular too all right whatever so three combat medics three dots and 620s and two it just makes these just more rare right out of the gate two volkswagen t1 panel buses Castrol is the theme. Again, simple, simple artwork. It's so great. So great. The art on the cards and on the models like always kind of match, and this looks so good. T1 Panel Bus is always a super popular casting. It just has gotten better and better. This was done for pop culture because they wanted a lot of real estate. Pop culture wants real estate on the side so they can put a lot of cool deco on this or put a lot of art on it. And for a long time, it was just, you know, the super friends and he-man or whatever else and star trek not into that but this with the castro logo on it plain green cool stripe on top white steelies i am all in on this one nice and clean so far this is my favorite of the uh, of the set card looks good but yeah we open them up we put them on the turntable all right so Dotson 620 goes in the collection, the T1 goes in the collection, and these definitely go in the collection as well. Lucas Oil Products Incorporated, high performance. It's all there. It's too bad. Oh, look. So this one, surfboard got loose. It's easy. It's an easy fix. If I open this, maybe I'll open that one. This is what it's supposed to look like. It just kind of slips right in. It just So it's not a huge deal that it's loose, as long as the card's right thing that's too bad is because because this can dislodge they have to put the safety information there on the card which takes a little bit away from the cleanliness of the card which is a bummer but it is what it is and the model looks fantastic so excited to see this custom 62 chevy pickup back in premium you know i'm gonna pause for a second because i want to pull out some of the premium all right i'm back i do enjoy pulling out this casting so that was kind of like a last minute decision because it's so cool to see this casting back in premium and it actually it made its debut in basic and then it moved and there's like a tricks version i don't have that out right now but i have some already in my displays that i thought i would pull out maybe we'll go backwards right because this casting it's been since modified in basic it has a sunroof so there's less metal to produce the surfboard is gone it's now uh it's just kind of embossed into the bed it's just not as interesting to casting. I don't collect it. 
except for the first edition of the basic but the premium I do, and this low Lucas oil looks great. I'm going to put this to the side. I'll walk backwards. Last time we saw it in premium was actually that Trucks diorama set, which looks great. Nice and clean. Retro deco, I don't know if it would be retro with the checkerboard on top, but uh, with the checkered flag, but it still looks really cool. Um, before that, I can't remember if this came first or not, but this is still my favorite version, which is the Zamac from the Shop Trucks Car Culture Mix with the deep dish steelies, the red surfboard, Zamac, Champion. I mean, obviously, look, this is this is where things just start making a ton of sense, right? Lucas Oil, the Champion logo, put those together. Uh, that looks super cool. That works perfectly. Then the theme continues with the convention model from a several years ago. I don't remember what year this was. It'll say somewhere right there. 2019 76 theme and then the two ogs when it went to premium back i don't even remember what the mix was called but this fits perfectly in as well the two holly models with the old school real riders one red one blue the blue is much harder to find pursued these on ebay when i was like these are going to go up in price and sure enough this one especially did i did i paid a lot for it then but it's a bargain now what i paid for it i know i think it was like 60 bucks Anyway, open those up. And so you got these trucks that have already, they've already been kind of playing this theme. And now you have this Lucas oil truck. So they just all look so good together. This one gets the deep dish steelies as well, just like the, I believe so, right? They just look so different with the white wall tires, red, rim, uh, red steelies, Lucas oil, the Red on top, white on the side with the blue stripe. It just looks so good. Lucas on the surfboard. This is, you know, I said the van was my favorite. Now I'm kind of thinking it might be this truck just because I'm such a big fan of the truck and these look so good. All right, anyway, nice little family there. Glad I just decided, and that's why I like having the wall displays because I can run and grab them, which I did. Lastly, speaking of... Union 76, two of the Holland Gas. Well, let's go back up so we can see the whole card. There's the model. This is, this is a Hot Wheels original, but it's loosely based on one of those classic, I don't know, fuel vans or something like that. I don't remember. I don't remember. I, it's cool. It's retro, not my style. This is a nice damaged card, so I can open that one up. And then obviously two of those. Bummer that there's only two of the trucks and two of the uh, VWs, because I think these are the two best. It's nice to see the Datsun 620 in there. Oops. But I would say that these are the models that look the best, in my opinion. You guys tell me what you think. Kind of fun to go through those trucks. I guess I could have done the van, but I don't have all the vans, and so what are you going to do? Anyway, very, very cool set. Very interesting to watch. Pop culture and entertainment merge next year. Hopefully there's some good stuff. I expect we will see some good stuff. Thanks, everybody. Bye.